Shares of beauty company Cody sinking today as well after sales fell around 3% versus last year. But the company did note improvement in brands like CoverGirl and growth in its prestige luxury business. I spoke exclusively with Cody CEO Sue Nobby and asked about the company's profitability and sales miss. The profitability was clearly a momentum for us, as you know it. You know, this was a key milestone that we really wanted to make happen during the third quarter. And this was taken clearly by uh, a gross margin, strong improvement, more than 450 base points versus uh, what we've done in the past. And this was clearly the number one objective. In terms of sales, you could really see that our prestige business, prestige brands, if I may say, are booming, be it in America or in China. And we are starting to stabilize our mass beauty business worldwide, including in America. You've probably heard during our earnings call that for the first time, CoverGirl is seeing market share gains since four years. So that's the overall picture I really wanted to share with you today. What's driving that in CoverGirl? Because I, I always thought of some of these big beauty brands, especially a CoverGirl, like, like the problem with big food, where they need to be cleaner and they need to go more where the consumer is going. And yet there's, a, there's an ingrained perception that they are well-established mass market brands. So how do you change that story? CoverGirl is still one of the most, is probably the most loved uh, American beauty brand today, uh, especially in the uh, mass cosmetics arena, and including compared to prestige brands. So there is a kind of love rate that's so high at CoverGirl that it's part, I would say, of the American culture of, and of course, of the daily usages of millions and millions of American women and today men. So clearly, this was a great basis to build back the brand on. And we've made a bet since my first day at Coty, because I've been following this brand from my you know, previous years in the, in the industry, I was surprised to see that the brand that invented clean makeup 60 years ago, that invented what we call today makeup powered by skincare something like 20 years ago, was not the brand leading this. And this is what happened since we decided to put back the focus on our assets. In other words, what people are looking for at CoverGirl is what CoverGirl is famous for. And the rest of is really a consequence of focusing on clean makeup, focusing on skincare that's powering makeup products. And this is why the results of CoverGirl are so stunning today. It's really going back to what CoverGirl has been standing for. You've heard probably the recent announcement around Nikki Taylor, used to be the face of CoverGirl mm -hmm. 20 years ago. She's back today and she's the face of uh, Simply Ageless, which is America's number one anti-aging foundation. This is part of the ongoing story on CoverGirl. What about masks? We're all still wearing them. To what extent are they driving beauty trends? Again, the masks probably are still having an impact on lip color usage, even if we are seeing some recovery happening here and there. But clearly what we are seeing is that in spite of the wear of the masks, people are heavily relying on products that make them, make them look better. Skincare on one side, complexion products. That's the reason why on a brand like CoverGirl, we've been investing a lot behind clean, fresh makeup mm -hmm. for the face. And then we've been investing behind Lash Blast Clean for the eyes, visible areas. And now we're moving to Simply Ageless, but still a complexion product. And we're doing more or less the same strategy in China, to take another example, where the launch recently on Gucci of the latest foundation that's specifically designed for the Asian consumer or the new Cushion Foundation on Burberry are clearly driving the sales. So anything that has to do with the face and the eyes is booming today. I haven't worn perfume in at least a year. Is that a, is that a straight reopening play as people go out more? They'll start using perfumes again? So, Sarah, fragrances in the U.S. are booming. Again, the, this is the category, especially uh, prestige fragrances. This is the category that's leading, I would say, the growth of the luxury beauty business in America. And clearly, Coty, again, has been outperforming very, very strongly this market. Remember, we've shared some time ago the success around Perfect by Marc Jacobs. Burberry Her is booming. Gucci with Gucci Guilty and Gucci Bloom are continuing to see strong momentum. Hugo Boss, same thing. So, in fact... Fortunately, fragrance is clearly the area that's recovering the fastest and not only recovering, it's leading the growth of the American market, not only versus 20, but also versus 19. It's already progressing. Same thing in China. 
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.